For director Mohamed Kurdufani, walking the red carpet at the Cannes Film Festival is a strange experience. It's a confusing feeling. It's a, it's a bittersweet. His film, Goodbye Julia, is the first from Sudan to be included in the festival's official selection. He is, he says, immensely honored and very happy. But at the same time, I feel really bad. Uh, I walk the red carpet while people are running away from bullets and bombing. And, uh... Weeks of fighting between two military factions in Sudan has driven nearly 1.1 million people from their homes and killed hundreds. It is the latest chapter in a history that has too often been written in blood. Goodbye Julia, which he premiered at Cannes, focuses on another period of instability. It explores the effect of South Sudan's split from Sudan in 2011, which Kordofani describes as rooted in social reasons. And I found myself guilty of this myself because uh, I, I didn't know any South, Southern Sudanese, although there were millions of them in Khartoum. But it seems like we have managed to create some sort of an upper tide, even if it's not like formal or, or, or announced, but these communities are complete, completely segregated and, uh, and this really fuels the problem. Goodbye Julia is stars theater actor and singer Iman Youssef and model Siran Riak. Yusuf plays Muna, a retired singer from northern Sudan who tries to erase her guilt after covering up a murder by taking the victim South Sudanese widow Julia into her home. It's shot in 4x3, which Kordofani says emphasizes the claustrophobic feeling inside Muna's home. Relations between Sudan and South Sudan remain tense to this day. In Sudan's latest crisis, Kordofani is wishing for reconciliation.